Welcome everyone to this Lightboard session where we're going to learn a little bit more about vSAN. In this case, uh, what we're going to talk about here is uh, the express storage architecture found in vSAN 8. What is it? Why did we create it? And uh, some other interesting things about it. You know, what's great about this new opportunity was as, as storage devices has evolved, we wanted to take efficient uh, um, a use of them. And you look at, you know, the, the performance of things, you know, sometimes people say software is the only thing that matters. Sometimes people, you know, get kind of tunnel vision on hardware, but it really is the marriage of the fastest storage devices, you know, the, the rapid evolution of their capabilities and our need to evaluate how do we speed this up. Now we use a lot of existing vSAN components. You know, if you look under the hood, some of the things like the cluster membership and monitoring and how we handle objects, those are still there. This wasn't a complete green sheet, you know, of the environment and we're carrying that legacy forward, but there were some significant improvements like a new data path that needed to be constructed to take advantage of modern hardware. There's also some things in terms of from a data layout structure to efficiently lay out that data and structure in a way to get the most capacity, performance from a storage basis, as well as keep CPU overhead to a minimum. It's kind of a goal here with this express storage architecture to kind of have our cake and eat it too. Be able to enable data services in a way that potentially in some cases even improves performance and lowers overhead to get the most capacity usage out of your devices and you know use data services like snapshots um, without having to worry about any secondary performance concerns. Indeed, uh, when, when you're trying to really understand what this new express storage architecture is, think of it just as a way, it's a, it's a new way uh, to process and store the data. And we do it in a much more efficient way uh, using these next generation storage devices uh, that we were previously not capable of doing when those uh, storage devices simply didn't exist. And so we've, we've introduced these elements uh, into the architecture here where, just as John mentioned, in fact, we're, we're using, we're taking advantage of, of a lot of foundational knowledge of what we had in previous versions of vSAN, but we've introduced uh, a new layer within the express storage architecture that's really focused on ingesting uh, these these small writes in a really fast and efficient way, uh, packaging them up so that they can write the data across the data store in a really efficient way. But that wasn't enough. We had to also be able to optimize another layer in the stack uh, so that we could uh, push the data through as quickly as possible and interface with these with these uh, next generation storage devices. So it's the marriage of these two different things uh, that really speak to the new and interesting capabilities of the Express storage architecture. From a from an from a holistic basis, this wasn't just about being able to reach the devices faster, but even improvements to the networking stack had to be made to fully leverage that. And that's one thing why when you look at the networking requirements for express storage architecture, you'll actually see we want to see 25 gig now as a minimum versus the 10 gig for the classic all flash. So this is something that hardware is increasing, but our capabilities to drive more top line performance, keep latency low, and enable more data services in a more efficient manner um, you know, we tried to bring all together. Yeah, that's a great point about the networking uh, here. And you might think, well, wait a minute, is that going to, is the express storage architecture going to require more networking? Um, we have higher standards for the networking, but that's only because we can exploit the capabilities of these next generation storage devices. If you migrate your workloads, your existing workloads from uh, the original storage architecture and previous versions of vSAN over to the express storage architecture, uh, you will in fact see less uh, resource utilization for those very same workloads. So that's one of the, uh, the, great, uh, the great benefits here uh, about the express storage architecture, doing more with what you already have. If you'd like to learn more about uh, what the ESA is and all things uh, related to vSAN and vSAN 8 in particular, feel free to go out to core.vmware.com and uh, take a look at all of the new material out there. Thank you very much.